this video is going to be the high-end versus drugstore. This is a video where you do one side high-end and another side drugstore. You're basically recreating the exact look on both sides. It's just basically to say that you don't need to spend so much money on high-end products to achieve the same look. There's so many more affordable brands and products you can use. Sometimes the products that are drugstore kind of look and work better than the high end, it depends on what product it is. So I want you guys to guess which side is drugstore and which side is, is high end. So this is my right hand side, so you need to say right high end or drugstore or left high end or drugstore. So let me know in the comments which one you think is which. When I say dupes I mean like either a replica of the same shade or something cheaper. It wasn't so much the exact formula but I did try to find kind of alternatives to the high end brands. I saw this on Lila Rose, so I was like, I want to do one too, so that's why I did this video. So I wanted to do something colourful because I'm always doing my neutrals and yeah. So if you want to see how I get this look and also show you my alternatives to high-end products, keep on watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Okay, so we are starting completely bare, so no brows, nothing. I usually do my brows first, so I'm going to be using the Colourpop Brow Pencil in the shade Black Brown on this side. And for this side, for some reason, I wanted to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, where is it now? I was going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow with, but this shade just isn't really doing the job. So I'm going to have to just use a the brow pomade instead. So for this side, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade in Ebony. There is also the Colourpop version, so the Colourpop version is black brown. I'm going to fill it in with the brow gel version of it. Moving on to prime my face, I'm going to be taking for the drugstore side, I'm using the NYX Shine Filler. And then on this side I'm using the Becca Evermatte Poreless Prime Perfector. For foundation on the drugstore side I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation, Chestnut 13. I'm going to use my foundation brush from my collection with Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and this is the uh, this is the Master Stipler brush. I'm not really a fan of the smell by the way of this foundation. I am going to review it. And on this side I'm going to use these two which I usually use. This is the NARS Luminous Foundation and then this is the Makeup Forever HD. So this is in the shade Benares and this is in 178. NARS one for the mouth area and under my eye because it's the darkest part. And then in the rest of the face, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the eyes. For this side, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. And then on this side, we're going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. For my transition colour, I'm taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. On this side, I'm taking Swiss Chocolate by MAC, but this is the blush form. I think I've run out of my Swiss Chocolate eyeshadow, I can't seem to find it. For the drugstore side, I'm taking Sleek Bad Girl Palette, and this, like, it's like a navy, like a dark navy blue shade. Apply this to the inner and outer corner of our lid. On top of that, I'm going to put Luckfully. This is by Colourpop and it's from their spring collection. 
so I didn't have a matte navy blue shade for the high end side so I'm going to use the sleek one again but I will be using a different shade for the rest of the lid. And for the shimmery blue, I'm taking this this shade out. What is this called? It's from MAC, but I don't remember what it's called. For the inner corner on this side, I'm going in with Colourpop Flower Shot, also from their spring collection. Sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus and then applied it. I'm just going to blend the blue into it just so it looks a lot more seamless. On this side, I'm taking the Vice palette and taking this shade. This is Arctic. I'm going to do the same. Spray it with some Fix Plus. I probably don't need to. And, and then apply to the center. This one kind of has, a, uh, this one has more of um, silver flex to it. So it might come off a lot brighter than the pop one but they're still both good we're gonna go back with that navy blue and apply it to the bottom lash line and then color pop flower shop in the middle and then open decays arctic on this side on this side, I'm taking Max Rice Paper for my inner corner. Then on this side, I'm taking the shade from the Sleek All Night Long palette with this shade, and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner. Just gonna go under my eye with the Swiss Chocolate, just to blend that those shades together. On this side, using Cocoa Bear. For my waterline, I'm using the ALF Gel Liner. And on this side, I'm using the one from Inglot in the number 77. My mascara, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalized Mascara. And on this side, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. For my lashes, I'm using the Velour Lashes. This is Doll Me Up, as you can see. Moving on to my under eye, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade 4 one. I'm going to add it to the side of my, uh, the side of my nose and on one side of my forehead, my cupid bow and my chin. And then on this side, we're going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amand. This one isn't as opaque as the LA Girl Concealer. I feel like I have to layer with the NARS one. I think it's more for if you want a dewy, less full face look, if that makes sense. So now I don't actually have a high end setting powder from under eye, so I'm gonna have to use the Sasha for both sides. So I'm taking the Sasha Buttercup Powder. on this side of my nose with the CoverGirl bronzer and ebony bronze and then on this side I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder and this is the contour kit for the drugstore side I'm going to contour with the Makeup Geek contour powder and on the high end side I'm going to use Swiss chocolate this is a blush by MAC For my face powder, I'm using Black Opal's Deluxe Finishing Powder in Deep. And then on this side, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. For my blush, I'm going with the Dark Palette by e.l.f. I'm taking this shade right here. And then on this side, I'm going in with MAC's Raisin Blush. For my highlight, I'm going in with Colourpop's Parasol, high point of my cheeks, 
This is a gorgeous shade. And on this side, I'm going to be using Becca's Opal Highlight. So I decided to double my lashes because they weren't looking as intense as I wanted them to be. So I used these ones. I don't even know where they're from, but I got them from IMAX LA. They kind of like the ones I had on before, so I guess these can be the dupes. I don't really have a name, it just says Mink Lash Pack. The majority of my lip products are very affordable, very um, drugstore. I think the only high-end brand I have in lipsticks are MAC. I'm going to be lining my lips with a drugstore. So this is K by Colourpop with the K-pop collection. I'm going to line the outer corner of my lips. And then I took the Milani Amore Lip Cream in the shade Fling. And for the high end side, I'm going to mix two shades. These two are from MAC and they are, we have Twig and Flat Out Fabulous. So it's kind of close to the one I've got on my lips right now. Filling it in with K. And then I'm going to apply the lipsticks. So this is pretty much the finished look. I'm also going to come back at the end of the day to see how well each side held throughout the day. So to see which one's better and I'll let you know. Okay, so it's been about six hours roughly. So this side is the drugstore side and this is the high end. From what I can see, it is pretty oily. I am pretty oily. From my nose area, um, my chin, forehead. And it's not so bad on this side, but you can see the line there. The makeup in general has stayed. The eyeshadow has stayed put. So for me, the only issue I have with makeup is just oiliness. It doesn't really matter what products I use. I can use everything drugstore and still have a face still like be for hours. The foundation selections I used, those ones tend to make me oily. So on this side, I use the NARS, the NARS Luminous Foundation. If you pair it with anything, it does make that foundation oily. The drugstore side, I'm just trying out the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation for the first time. So what I'm gonna do is try it out with the Becca um, Primer because that usually works really well and see how that is because obviously I used a cheaper primer and clearly it didn't really do much. All in all the makeup was held well. It looks kind of the same on both sides honestly if I'm being honest with you. I really can't see a huge difference besides the fact that it was a lot more, it's a lot more oilier and a lot more glowy on this side as opposed to this side but you probably can't tell the difference. So that's it for the video. I really hope this was enjoyable. hope you liked it. And if you have any more videos you want me to film, let me know and I'll try and do them for you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.